Hey everyone, how's it going? So, I thought I would show you around one of my farms that I've kind of put quite a lot of work into a while ago, but um, just thought I would show you what it looked like and sort of explain why everything is where it is. So, as you can see, I've got two, um, I've got two machines making diamonds here. Um, I've got my Jojo Mart thing um, producing cans here. I think I actually went for a Jojo Mart ending on this one. Anyway, I've got my charcoal makers here. So, yeah, these can produce a lot of charcoal, which is really useful. And... Let me have a look at my... That's my inventory. Okay, here we go. So, um, yeah, here's my um, inventory. So, yeah, these are um, obviously for forging metal. So, this is really where the um, coal comes in. So, you can pretty much power the whole thing off wood. Um, got my um, child's bedroom here. Um, I don't quite know if I have a child or not. I can't remember. To be honest, this has been a while since I've actually produced, um, since I've actually logged into this safe. Ooh, an event. Good morning, dear. It was a lovely walk out here. I haven't seen this old farm in a long time. Actually, neither have I. Looks even better than I remember. Okay, I don't know if this is what she sounds like, but I guess it is now. Yeah, I brought you a little something. It's a gift. From one gardener to another. What is it? Okay. Is this something that's been added since I played? I'm going to throw away my apricots. Bye bye, apricots. Actually, no, I, I don't know. Oh, who needs apricots anyway? Okay. Received a garden pot. These pots are really handy. You can use them to grow crops in any season indoors. They also look nice outside. But out here, they can only house in season crops. Okay, that's kind of cool. If you need more, they're really easy to make too. Here, I've got an old magazine clipping with instructions. Oh, that's really cool. I had no idea. This is the first time I've seen this event. Well, I better go, George. Gets grumpy. Oh, George gets grumpy if he doesn't have his oatmeal on time. He can make his own oatmeal. <laughs> Have a great day, honey. Ooh, so we've got a garden pot. Can I put it in my house? I don't know, can I? Ooh, I wonder if I've got a crop here that I could plant in it. No, I don't. Oh my god, I've got a rare seed. Oh, okay. So I guess we've got a rare seed. Another diamond, very nice. I don't know why I have all this stuff. I'm just gonna flog it, I think. Darn truffles, who needs them? Strawberries, or should I keep them for the seeds? Okay, so I guess I'll walk around my little farm here. So here I've got a good farming area, I guess. Oh look, here I've got some piggy piggies. Very sweet. And I guess here I've got um, a bit of a forestry area. We're growing up some uh, trees. I don't eat the strawberry. Got me some nice big galaxy sword, which is pretty nice. Apparently you get five experience from petting the animals. Which is... um. Well, five farming experience, which is useful. It's just not loads, but... Pigs are kind of cute, I guess. <laughs> oh, you might notice I've got these, um, like, barrels, and I'm sort of using them as a fence. Um, these conventional fences will deteriorate over time, but, yeah, these barrels are basically immortal, so... You know, it might actually be worth, um, you know, using objects in the game as fences. I mean, it's a bit more expensive, but heck, you've got to put them somewhere. And, you know, actually, a fence will take up valuable land. 
But, you know, these will kind of produce something. So, yeah, these are preserve. So, heck, I'm just going to randomly preserve these strawberries for no reason. Yeah, so now I've got um a forest here, which is sort of a fat sap forest. Uh, so that'll produce a lot of uh, sap for me. Uh, yeah, well, you know, which is kind of useful. I mean, I, I guess um, the money you get isn't great, but, you know, you can do certain things with it. So, uh, I mean, I've got all my um, wine making barrels, you know, which you can um, produce a lot of um, strawberry wine with or, you know, whatever kind you want. Um, oh, look, um, so I've got a few um, fruit trees along here. Which are pretty awesome. So, I guess it's strawberry season right now. Cherry season, sorry. You know, I haven't logged into this um, game for ages. So, that's cool. Now, I don't think you get the best amount of money for, um, for doing this, basically, but heck, why not? So as you can see, you can just literally walk around and just drop it all in these barrels, which will make it more valuable. Okay. I like the noises for things to make, actually. Kind of sweet. So like I say, it's been a while since I've logged into here, but um, yeah, I think the farm's looking pretty cool for all the different um, fruit trees and things. I mean, I guess this farm is a bit of a vanity farm because... Um, you know, I've, I've probably already com well, I've already completed the game, so um, it's still fun. Like I say, these I think you can use um, some of these saps as gifts. I think um, the um, old lady, oh, I forget her name. But I think the old lady actually likes this particular sap, whatever it is, oak resin. Although you know, don't quote me on that. You'd have to look it up, honestly. But uh, oh, I think she likes the medical ones, whatever they are. Like I say, it's been a little while since I've played this. So I've got my nice shrine up here. Oh my goodness me! An iridium statue! Sorry, cherries. I thank you! Oh, I didn't know I had that. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna go put it in my house, I think. I've got my horse here, of course. And um, a few rare scarecrows and things. Oh, where should I put it? Meow! I think these randomly produce items, don't they? Mmm, delicious. Dojo Cola. <laughs> it's the best cola in the world. In the universe. So I wonder if we should go have a look at the town. Okay, I guess we could look at the um, post box. I made a little treat for you this morning in the salon. Dig in. Oh, pasta. Maybe I'll give it to um, Shane. I think he likes pasta. Oh, wow. So, yeah, look, we've got quite a lot of... Um, we're quite high level with nearly everyone. Yeah, so you can only give two gifts a week, I think. Or is it two gifts a day? Oh dear, I forget. I think it's two gifts a week, but... Oh, I don't know. Don't quote me on that. But look, poor dwarf is neglected. Everyone else has got a few stars. But yeah, there's quite a few cool items that you can give to people that they love. Um, obviously, you can look up what they are. So... Oh, Maru! Look, she's my girlfriend. Awesome. Yeah, she's um, one of my favourite characters, actually. She's quite cool. Um, Robin's quite cool, but she's already married, I guess. I think Clint isn't dateable. I mean, maybe he is in the newer, newer updates, but... Um, Emily's kind of crazy. I don't know, I think she'd be a bit crazy to... <laughs> date, or... I don't know. It's... Oh, dear. Shane's quite cool, actually, you know? He's kind of tragic, and I like how if you... um. Date Shane, he actually, um, well, I won't spoil it too much, but you can kind of build him up from sort of being really depressed and he'll sort of, um, you know, recover a lot. 
So yeah, there's some cool characters in here. Um, I don't know. Okay, so um, I guess there's not too much uh, I can really say. Spaghetti, people generally love spaghetti. Uh, it's very just statues. Let's have a look in here. Oh, now this is a big load of um. To be honest, um, these ancient fruit um are probably what I'm actually turning into wine at the moment. Because, you know, if you, um, you can actually produce some, you know, pretty fantastic amounts of money just, um, converting these ancient fruits into various products and things. Now, if memory serves, I think, um, these preserving pots, uh, give you times two money plus a little bonus, right? But I think the wine gives you, um, times three the value of the good you put in, um, but you don't get the bonus. So with high-end fruit, it's really worth turning it into wine, I think. Cactus fruit jelly, wow. So uh, maybe I'll go for a little ride around town. I... Wait, can I actually give him? Oh, I can't give him um, gifts, but <laughs> that would be kind of cool if you could give your horse gifts. So where should we go, I, I guess? Um, let's go see if we did the Jojo Mart um, way of things. I think we probably did go for Jojo Mart in this particular game. Um, usually the, well obviously Jojo Mart's the kind of evil way of doing things, but it's also a lot easier I find because, you know, if you, um, it's probably easier to produce a load of money than it is to produce all different speciality crops. I mean obviously I've completed the game both ways. But, um, yeah, getting a load of money, um... Oh yeah, I must have gone the Jojo Mart way. I've got the Jojo Community Development Farm right here for you, miss. Come to take a look. Okay. So yeah, um, I've obviously completed the game with Jojo Mart. Oh, it is, okay, two gifts a week, sorry. I would remember that if I'd have played recently. God, did her eyes, doesn't she look kind of like, ugh, why am I here? Oh dear, just get the automatic self-service checkouts, come on. She's gonna hate that gift, I think. You want a horrible gift? Look, it's Shane. Shane will like some pasta, I reckon. But I reckon I've already given him two gifts this week. Come on, Shaney. Okay. Actually, is she even in the game? I I assume she is. Honestly, I kind of like the moral message of this game, you know, like all the, I don't know, it's um, there's um, a book I read a while ago called Small is Beautiful and it's a good book, but it kind of um, <clears throat> It's a good principle, but small is beautiful. Um, it kind of applies to nations, and it applies to all sorts of things. Like, if you think about um, a lot of the great city-states of Greece that produced so much of the modern world, you know, they were all small cities and things, but had a relatively small population. You know? When a nation starts to get too big, it kind of seems like... Um, well, I kind of believe the um, bigger like a country is, the less democratic it is, because... Um, laws are going to be enforced on people who don't necessarily agree with them. Anyway, <laughs> that's enough sort of nonsense from me. Oh yeah, so we turned this place into a warehouse. Look, not a single star up here. Now that's an, an interesting point. I don't know for sure, but what if you get five stars? Or four stars, for example. Yeah, what if you get five stars, and then you go the Jojo Mart way, does this um, place kind of stay done up a bit, or not really? Yeah, on a serious basis, um, 
the problem with big supermarkets and things and big companies is well when they produce food the primary thing they produce it for is um for shelf life right that's the most important thing to them so they don't necessarily grow for taste um if it's a choice of having okay taste and looking good or um or the other way around then they'll generally go for um you know the um sort of looking good because at the end of the day like people will kind of eat anything i, I guess especially if they're not really used to um eating natural foods and things. I mean, a good example is uh, meat, right? Um, when you go to Spain and you go to a butcher, or even in the UK, when you go to a butcher, they, generally speaking, don't have um, added liquid in the meat, whereas most of the meat you buy in supermarkets here do have uh, added liquid, and it's kind of gross. And, uh, you know, I when you cook it, you know, a lot of sort of liquid will come out for me, especially with stuff like bacon. You think, oh, this isn't good. It's not meant to have all this added meat, you know? Sorry, added water. Ugh. Oh, okay, so um, I guess I've got my um, crab pots down here, right? And I think I've got quite a few crab pots along the sea. So let's go have a little looky look. Be my friend. Come back. Come back. Oh, why did he leave? So yeah, I didn't really bother fishing um, this playthrough. But what I did do, I... Oh wow, I've got some really valuable stuff in there, like bait and lucky lunch. And my hat. What am I wearing? Gosh. She's not meant to be wearing a Christmas hat, she's meant to be wearing a captain's hat. There we go. Ooh! What button did I press to get that up? Oh, it doesn't matter anyway. Was it Q? Oh, it wasn't Q. How are you doing, dude? Some fish come and go with the seasons. Others only come out at night or in the rain. That's true. So you learn something every day. So, yeah, most of what you get from... Um, this area is really like junk and rubbish and trash and stuff but um yeah you do get quite a few good um sea things which actually will help you um level up without fishing so you can actually level your fishing up without fishing so you know that's kind of good it's also kind of good for money actually oh an event i don't think i've seen this event before this is pretty cool. <whistles> Sorry. I guess you're wondering why I'm in the graveyard at this hour. Not really, Abigail. You want to be goth? Well, I'm here because it's all the best. Because it's the best place in town to find some privacy. Yeah, I've never seen people in the graveyard before. And I'm all sweaty because I've been practicing my swordsmanship. But yeah, that's kind of hardcore. Hey, what? You think I'm too weak to swing a blade? I didn't say that. Don't put words in my mouth. Defensive? Ah, well, the other one with a sword, I mean. Yeah, the mountain and caves are quite dangerous. Lots of ore, though. You've used sword before, haven't you? It's exciting! But only in self-defense. It's dangerous. You should stay safe. You know, what I normally do with these decisions, right, is I actually Google the event, right, and then I'll kind of find the, um, proper outcome right so um i don't know if i if i should do that now because i don't really care about relationships i'm gonna go self-defense i think it's 
So that's quite a good outcome, I guess. Yeah, she is a really unmemorable character. She does have a point. <laughs> Abigail? Oh, here we go. I'm going to have to lie to him, probably. Come home and help with dinner. Woman's place is in the kitchen. No. Oh, dear. To be there, I have to help with dinner. It's a real pain. <laughs> oh, dear. What are you doing in the graveyard, anyway? This is no place for a young lady. Come on, use the sword on him. <laughs> oh, better not. Mind your own business. You think I should be at home cooking dinner because I'm a girl, don't you? Yeah, well, she took the words out of my mouth. You're really stuck in the past, Dad. I don't really like this dude, Pierre. He kind of is annoying. And, you know, when um Jojo... Okay, um, spoiler alert, but when Jojo and Mark kind of take over, he's so smug, and I'm like, oh, you know, that's just, like, not good. Oh, sorry. When Jojo Mark's destroyed, he just seems so smug, you know. Get out of here, Jody! Or is it a ghost? Don't leave your sword there, it'll go rusty. I know, I know. They grew up in a different era with different values. It still ticks me off sometimes, okay? Well, thanks for hearing me out, Jody. Um, now, could you help untangle my hair from Miss Bush? <laughs> oh, gosh. So we've crawled it. <laughs> oh, dear. Needs a help untangling her hair from the bush. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Okay, that was a cute little event. Oh, I wish my horse could run everywhere. Where are you going? Where are you going? Oi. She's taking online classes. Cool. Because you're always hungry. That's how I knew you were hungry. I just carry around cold pasta and just randomly give it to people and they're like thrilled about it. I don't know. If someone gave me cold pasta, I'd be like, what the heck is this? If anything, is just amazing. No, you can't go in. No. Okay. Oh dear. Should we go to the saloon quickly? I mean, heck, it's still early. It's only 10 o'clock. Give some people some pasta, because they're hungry! They've already given... Yeah, Shane's already had his pasta. His cold, slimy, day-old pasta. Oh, Pat. I don't think she'd like pasta. Does she like pasta? Oh, she does like pasta. Have some pasta, Mr. Person. You know, pasta's a nice lazy gift, right? Because you can just give it to everyone. But what Pat really likes is beer. I don't know, I feel kind of guilty when I give her beer because, you know, she's probably got a bit of a problem with beer, so... Hey, Pat. You want a beer? Oh, come on! She needs a beer! Oh, oh, oh. oh dear. Am I drunk now? Hey kid, you're too young to be moping around in a place like this. You know, this is the only this is the only like tavern place in town. Come on, it's like a town of like ten people or something. Where else am I gonna mope around? My farm. It's depressing. Oh no, it's almost getting late. Let's get home. Come on, horse. Oh, I quite like how I've had a beer and now I'm flashing red. 
Ooh, 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 minus one speed. That's not a good buff. So, okay, I better run because I am late. Put some things in here because I need some space. Oh, darn it, I can't be bothered. Okay, so I think I'm going to leave the video here. But I um, hope you really enjoyed um, enjoyed watching my farm for a day. Um, I got a lot of surprises. I was quite surprised about the event and quite a few other things. But um, yeah, this is a fantastic game. So I guess I'll end it here. Well, let's just see what I got for the day. I got some money for the diamond and the um, truffles. This is not bad, I guess, for doing nothing really. Day four of spring, year three. You know, I kind of want to do a challenge to see how quickly I can um, make money. Maybe I'd do that as a video, but I don't know. I don't know. Let me. If you enjoyed this video, let me know in the comments. So, my game's automatically saved, so I guess I'll um, end the video here. But uh, thank you very much for watching, and goodbye!